Space in Eichelberg, Prep Cal Track. Uh, you can't see the stadium lights on here, but the spotlight is kind of shining very brightly, matching the smile of the young lady that I have in front of me, uh, Sadie Englehart, Ventura High School, who uh, has enjoyed a spectacular day here at the 2023 CIF State Track and Field Championships. Uh, her day started in the 1600 meters. She defends her 1600 meter state championship uh, in a time of 4.33.45. She sets the new meet record, uh, besting the mark of uh, former Woodbridge standout Christine Babcock from 2008. Another great performance, and now Sadie is on top and when it comes to the state chapter field championships. Sadie, first and foremost, we'll talk about that one. Congratulations. Uh, if you could, what was the game plan coming into it? What did you have to do to, to win, and then what did you have to do to get that unbelievable time? Yeah, the game plan was definitely not that. Um, I came through at 65, and I was like, wow, 65? Like, I feel great. And I came through at 213, and I was like, wait, is this a prank? Like, I thought the, I thought the clocks were, like, going fast or something. Um, but, yeah, I just felt super great. And then kind of on that third lap, I was like, you know, you don't have to crush it right now. Um, you know, because I had another race coming up. I didn't want to be, you know, dead. <laughs> um <laughs> So yeah, I, I kind of just, um, I think I stuck to like 70s after that. I think I hit like a 220 last 800. Um, but yeah, like I said, not the game plan at all. I was, I was trying to, you know, stick behind someone, save as much energy as I could for the 800. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really not m mad with it at all. I didn't feel, you know, that tired after the 16. So yeah, I think it, I think it worked out perfectly. When you were coming down there with about 100 meters to go and you can see the clock there, what were you telling yourself? I mean, you're coming through. You know that you're going to be close to a meet record and uh, a possible lifetime best. Uh, what are you telling yourself to kind of get you through that last you know, 80 meters or so? Yeah, I, I think the last 80 meters, I was more like, okay, you can relax now. <laughs> um, but, yeah, now that I think about it, I kind of I, – I, I wish I kind of pushed it on that last lap because I think I could have gone, you know, a little under 68. So, um, but I ran a 70. Um, so, yeah, next time definitely – if I'm that close, I should just push it, but yeah. <laughs> well, we, we think there could be some more special performances <laughs> there. Um, now, obviously, you mentioned about, you know, having to not conserve energy, but be cognizant of the fact that you have another race. Right. And coming back for the 800. Um, this is a double that had not been done since 1975. Let me repeat that, 1975. That's a span of 48 years uh, for somebody to win two state championships in 16 to 1800 meters. Uh, you came into this, I don't want to say an underdog, but obviously the defending state champion was here. Uh, you had a great battle with her last year, and you know, as the competitor that you are, what it would it take for you to win this year. Uh, what was that competition like as you guys battled there? Yeah, Mackenzie is obviously just, you know, out of this world. Um, yeah, she obviously won state last year, got that 203 this year. Um, yeah, and she's just on a roll, and I'm very, very grateful to even be racing against her. Um, because it just pushes me a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I think for the eight, I, I kind of put a lot of trust in my kick. Um, I think that if I got rolling around the 150 mark that I could, you know, get smoothly by her, um, which I think I executed pretty well. So yeah, I don't think it could have gone um, any better. Um, it it, it kind of turned into like a um, sit and kick race, um, which, you know, I'm not mad about, but <laughs> yeah, I think it went great. As the competitor that I know you are, uh, being able to complete this mission, the 16800, um, what does that set you up for moving forward? Obviously, you still have two years left and a lot of great things to, to accomplish. Uh, where does this kind of set you up moving forward from here? Yeah, I mean, it kind of just shows I, I've been training, uh, you know, working very hard. And um, definitely my workouts are definitely faster than last year. And it, it's very special to, you know, see it in, as a result in some of these races. Um, and yeah, just it just pushes me even more. Um, just knowing that I had a little bit left in me in the 16, um, and that I could run the 207 after 4:33. It's just yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence, and I'm very excited for for postseason. I think it's off to a great start. Well, Sadie Inglehart joins Kathy Costello from 1975, the last person to win a 1600 meter state championship and an 800 meter state champion. 1600 meter state champion in 433.45. Again, new meet record, besting Christine Babcock of Woodbridge. Comes back 207.22 as the 800 meter champion. Uh, Sadie, congratulations, and uh, we, we can't wait to see what you have in store for Thank us in the you. future. Thank you.